Hey everybody, welcome back to more Unexplored, where we're going into the weekly dungeon for this week, February 27th to the 5th. We're going to randomize. I didn't know you could randomize name. How did I miss that before? These names are ridiculous, though. Jot's all right. Storil the third. Oh, I don't... Kawar. Mm. What do we... What, what do we... Uh... Uh, Drondo. And he'll be a rogue. And he'll look like that, because I don't care. So yeah, this is the weekly dungeon. I guess that means if you want to see how well you can do in comparison to me, you can play along. So feel free. Melee plus one. Gives a plus one bonus to melee. I don't know why I say melee. That's not right. Melee. It affects your speed and your chance to land critical hits with all types of axes and hammers. Just axes and hammers? We're up to two rings at once. Right, right. Detect magic. Well, that would cost... That would be, like, most of our money right there. And we start out with two rings. Um, let's buy him a couple beers. Did he just give us a torch? He did. Well, that's interesting. Um, stack that later, I guess. Dungeons and rats go together like peas and carrots. You'll find them everywhere. First-time adventurers don't know rats are easily chased away with a burning torch. Oh. That is is useful information. Thank you, old man. The gods watch the Dungeon of Doom closely. Uh, right, Lord Grievous. Yep. Plenty of puzzles? Uh-huh. Sigils can be... Yep, done that. But there are also things living underwater. Oh, wait. You're going to get your feet wet in the springs of dawn. Water itself is not dangerous. I hope you can swim. Just remember to breathe. Well, not in the water, right? But there are also things living underwater. You'll want to be mighty careful with those. Okay, Springs of Dawn, there's going to be water, and there's going to be things in the water. That's not actually the most useful advice, because I would have assumed that, because in the past, you know, like so far, there's been water and things. Overgrown Entrance. Are we getting a plant theme this time? That'd be cool. Another Onk. Does the start always have an Onk? Have I just didn't notice it until last time? So yeah, this is, like I said, this is the weekly dungeon. So, play along. See, uh, you'll be able to do much better than me, I'm sure. Ooh, spotted a trap. Already. Whoa, haven't seen that before. Interesting. Ooh, wait. No, I want to, I want to... It's not all what I want to do. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Just... No. No, what is this? I need to... Okay. It lights your way. Click the mountain of your to throw it. No, how do I light it? Oh, I understand. You have to do this. Get back, you. What? Oh, is it because I didn't have to equip it in my main hand? Is that why? Well, now I do, and it's still in my off hand. Okay, well now it's working. I didn't really take much damage, so. No harm, no foul. Um, I don't know what that exactly is doing. Let's take that. Let's keep this torch out for now, I guess. Now if I do this... I don't understand what th th that did. There's still spikes here. And these are still doing something. Oh, it turned on those ones behind me. I see. So I've got a... Okay. Okay, um, that didn't work. That was <laughs> that was a failure there. Uh, let's let's turn those off. Yep. I don't like the spikes. I don't like that that that's a thing now. Get back, fucking rats. That's actually super useful because, like I've said many times at this point, um, killing things don't seem doesn't seem to do anything. So just being able to wave a torch at the rats is pretty nice. I am very thankful for that old man's advice. Don't think I want to turn spikes on wherever they are. Unless we, I was trying to do some sort of, uh, some sort of sneaky shit. Hmm, that doesn't light on fire. That's interesting. I lit that torch on the ground on fire though. Uh, probably shouldn't have. White mice. I haven't seen those. Oh, they're rats. Wait, are they? They're just the same as regular rats. Is that like social commentary or something? Well, um, oh, we're back up here. 
Right, but I did turn off some spikes. Down here I turned off some spikes, and it's probably these ones. And that'll let me get through to this room, which is probably the way down. That's my guess, anyhow. There we go. Not having to deal with these rats is just great. Um, well, and that's that. The Lesser Hollow of Vigor. Easy. I'm starting to gonna get a little self-conscious now that I know other people might be playing the same thing as me. You know what I mean? Like, oh, dumb stuff like that. That's that's gonna feel even worse. Beetle. Okay. Uh, are beetles scared of fire? No, they might actually be attracted to fire. No, they seem to not care at all about fire one way or the other. Being able to throw fire at guys is kind of cool, though. Oh, I thought those were off. Okay. Uh, will that kill the beetle? Cool. Yeah, I mean, like, already I've taken a lot of damage that I don't need to take. Uh, I need to remember that that's there in case I don't find a key for it. Well, <laughs> I think we found a key for it. So, don't need to worry about that. Oh, no. No, I didn't find a key for it. Okay, found a key for something else. Let's keep looking. Hmm. No, oh, yep. Key for this. Not a key for that either. A lot of locked stuff on this room, I guess. And there's two more keys, though, which might might unlock the things that I just passed. You would think so. There's the way down, unless there's multiple. There's not, so that's the way down. Wait, what is that there? There's a locked door here? I didn't even see it. Okay, we got that. Okay, that beetle shoots stuff. That's a lot of beetles. That's a lot of beetles. Get me out, please. Oh. Okay, uh, this is a hard level. Didn't didn't want to throw that. Didn't want to throw that. Wanted to throw the torch. Forgot that the torch was in my other hand. Um. Yep. Take these. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Get get out, please. Okay. 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 Well. Well, that's uh. There's your weekly dungeon. That's too tough for me. Uh, I'm guessing just about everyone did better. So let's uh, let's go into. Wasn't I on hard? Was I not playing on hard? A second ago. Have I been doing better because I stopped playing on hard? Give me a sec. Mm, doesn't say on this list. I was playing on hard before though, wasn't I? I was also playing with extra puzzles, but not extra bosses. When did this get mixed up? Oh, maybe the, uh... Maybe that level I just played was on challenging with extra bosses. Which is even more embarrassing, because uh, I've been playing on hard this whole time. Whatever. Um, Drondo the second? No. This will be, uh... Hanrik. Han Hanrik. The Adventure. Let's try and do, like, uh, a million times better than what we just did. Let's, that advice is good, though. Okay. Heard stories of the cave and dead catacombs ablaze where a giant worm makes its home. You do not want to be in there. It devours anyone who step, steps, sets foot in there, leaving their bones to rot. If the stories are true, it must have quite a collection by now. Hmm. Well, on one hand, um, if this is a bigger worm than the ones we found... Um, like, if it's, if it's the worm we found already... They're actually not that hard, and you can run outrun them pretty fast. If it's something bigger, then that is kind of scary. I'll need to remember dead catacombs, dead, dead catacombs ablaze. But also, the thing that a lot of people must have died there makes me think there might be some good treasure. Um, density. Okay, density likes gold a lot. He also likes lockpicks and tools. Some leave such things on his altars to gain his favor. Okay, density. Got it. Now we know what to do with that with that altar. A completely different magic ring is rumored to be completely different than what? This one? A completely different magic ring is rumored to be lost in the dungeon by Alfie the Fool. He made it as far as the burrows, or so they say. Not quite as bad as the Ring of the Elves, but still pretty powerful. Okay, we'll look for that. Um, the burrows. Luckily, this stuff's all written down. A spear! Ooh! Oh yeah, there are kobolds living in the dungeon. They wield a variety of weapons, so keep them at a safe distance by keeping a spear's length. You can have mine. That's that's a pretty good start. Let's sell the short sword. Sigils can be yep, gotcha. Do we want a nimbleness? Nimbleness ring? What does nimbleness do anyway? Pick locks at arm no, we don't have anything that does that, so 
Yeah. Let's just... Oh, I should have maybe... No, no, this works. Don't want the torch. Want the spear. And yeah, let's put this in our offhand. And let's just uh, keep going like nothing happened with that last run. Let's just pretend it, it didn't happen as far as I'm concerned. What is, what is this? Do you want to... There we go. There's that onk again. I guess that does happen every time. And I was just uh, blind. That's the only explanation I have. You know what I just realized? Well, for one, I should not do that. But for two, this up here, if I drank one of these healing potions, I'd be left with a flask. I bet I could fill it up with that. Whatever that red stuff is. Um, let's ignore the kobold. Um, I don't... He did have some equipment on him, though. Now that I think about it. Um, those rocks are breathing. So... Yeah, that's what I thought. Let's just not go there. Here's another one of those things. That opened something. Spiders seem to be the theme. Now, are spiders scared of... Oh, wait a minute. There we go. Are spiders scared of fire? Are they? No. Not at all. They're not scared of fire. Okay. Um, well, they're weak. So that's something we have going for us. Can kill multiples of them at once. <laughs> Unless you do something dumb like that. Nice. I love the bounce. Okay, nothing. Healing! Oh, that's about one of the best things we can find right there. Earth rune's pretty good, though, too. Yeah. <sighs> Didn't mean to do that. Earth rune would be really good if we can find a forge. Or, I assume. I've obviously never used an earth rune. Just the life one. And I'm not even sure what the life one did. Does that guy have a shield? Shield would be pretty useful. Let's see if we can't uh, hide here. And then wait for him to come in. Oh, oh. Well, <laughs> he's way weaker than I thought he was. Okay. Small shield. Stop six. Slightly faster than a normal shield. No, it's better than what we have. That's for sure. Nice. This is already looking like it's going to be a good run. Having a, a spear and a shield this early is um, pretty great. <laughs> well, I love that that happened. That's, okay. Yeah, when turrets are on your side. That's pretty nice. Um, still some more to explore, and there's only one way down. So we, we'll just save that. He's going to shoot again. Oh, I thought he'd miss me because I was moving fast enough. Uh, luckily, my shield caught that, though. Nothing in here, except that. Okay. Um, yep, that was a worthless room. Uh, luckily, it didn't take any damage. Huh. Oh, no, there's nothing there. Okay, way down. Yep, let's go. There's a magic missile trap. Hmm. Okay. This was the sharp grounds of webs. I didn't notice any particular theme other than there's a good number of traps and there were a lot of spiders. This is the upper gallery of y Yor. I don't recognize that name, and I think I would if it was in one of the things, so. Because we do need to keep a lookout for whatever stuff it mentioned. I don't remember what stuff it mentioned. The burrows, there's a ring. The catacombs ablaze, there's a giant worm. I think those, that's the main thing. I don't know if there's anything else. I'm sh Well, no, I was going to say I'm sure I'll recognize it if there is something, but I probably won't. But... Still, it's not... No use wasting all our time on it. Okay, it's a good thing these guys are easy. This is one case where it just makes sense to kill them, because one, they're so easy. And two, um... They're annoying. They're fast. So, might as well kill them. It's a different kind of look. It's a lot more gray. Like this, like this whole thing is marble or something. But like... Not, you know... Not marble walls, just like... Marble rock. Mm, guess this is the way to go. That thing didn't spot me. Uh, bats. Can I? What are these things exactly? Jack o' lanterns. Carved flying pumpkins that seem to only appear at the harvest season. Is it the harvest season? I mean, I'm not playing this anywhere close to Halloween. Oh, uh, that grass all just lit on fire, which is very interesting that that's a thing that can happen. Um, also, let's eat some rations because we were on fire. Oh, you. 
Okay, well, we're losing... Uh, yeah, we used a healing potion, which means we kind of wasted our rations. These jack-o'-lanterns suck. Can I say... Oh, man. Oh, I'll take the gold, though. More gold. Cool. Um, Stuff over here. Yeah, it burnt all that. Okay, so the, we need to pay attention to our environment a lot of times. This, I bet, is density. Didn't want to pause. Density. Right, so he likes gold. Can we give can we give him gold? We can't give him gold. Well, I wanna give him gold. Why can't I give him gold? Well. Okay. Uh, there's two ways down, at least. Three ways. Cool. Spiders. Of course. A little bat. I don't like that we're getting a lot of flying things. Still no discernible theme, which is interesting. Unless the theme is... No, I don't even know. I don't even know what it would be. Um, those are ants, I'm pretty sure. This should open something. More gold! Yeah, see now... Okay, I don't know. I wish I could almost not put that in my pile here. Yeah. Um, there's a third exit somewhere. Where could it be? Oh, right here. Yeah. More rations, that's good. Torch could be good. Okay, here's the other one. Let's see if this is the way we're supposed to go. The Lesser Crypts. Undead? Are we going to get Undead theme? Probably, because that's the way we're supposed to go. So, let's go back up. Perhaps. There we are. And let's go to... I guess it doesn't matter which one. Let's go this one down here. I think it's closer. Oh. Well... I guess it doesn't matter that we almost missed that. All these coffins, like, it's making me wonder what are, what's in them. The burrows. Oh, the burrows. Now that was something. That's where the ring was lost, isn't it? Yeah, Alfie the Fool. A magic ring. But it's it's pretty powerful. Okay. Definitely want that. Um, is that a trap or switch? Yeah, I don't know. I was I was assuming switch just because it didn't get discovered. You know, I just knew it was there. Um, maybe not. Maybe I shouldn't be taking that risk. But could I could I please give some gold? Yeah, I don't know. Unless that's an option or something. Options. No, no. Not that I saw. Ooh, what's that? A wolf. That's new. Not too tough. Yeah, not bad at all. But new. And new is interesting. Um, here's a ring. Okay, uh, doesn't seem to do anything, um, immediately discernible. Now, what does that do? Who knows? Um, okay. Oh, okay. Uh, what is that? Is that an orc? Goblin. Green, smelly, stupid, and lots and lots of them. Goblins are the stockpile monster of every self-respecting dungeon. Wow. Alright then, wolves and goblins. Luckily, he killed one of the wolves for me, which is kind of cool. Oh, I didn't know I was hidden there. <laughs> Those wolves do some damage. Okay. Oh, that arrow does some damage too. Considering I blocked it, it's... What am I doing? Just... There. Very first goblin. Okay. So that'll unlock something. I assume. Another ring! Oh. Don't know what it does either. No. No, what are you doing? Obviously I want to put that there. Mm, yeah, I don't like that thing. Let's heal a bit. Oh, and there's no reason to be in here. Except it's barred. Um, well, there doesn't seem to be any way out. 
Which tells me one thing. This is a descent scroll. Yep. I'm figuring this game's tricks out. Okay, the damp vaults of vigor. Level four. Yeah, okay, we kind of went down like that. Okay. Uh, this water isn't freezing, so we don't have to worry about that. There's stuff in there, though. Stuff I can't really see. Old man warned, warned me about this. So I am prepared. I will avoid the water. Ooh, mm, grim bloats. A grim bloats bites, bite drains its victims. Yep, there that is. That's that's exactly what it did. Okay, yeah, we gotta we gotta look out for that. Is this smoke doing anything? I don't think so. Door opened. Okay, we got a way down there. Which I'm almost certain we're gonna want to go up first. There's some land right there. Uh, there's something here though. That's a, that's a big something. Yep, yep. I can get a good look at it here. Bog worm. These gigantic worms are blind monstrosities that look love the murky waters of the Dungeon of Doom. Oh yeah. Let's not let's not mess with that. That's <sighs> skeletons. Oh, and there's a there's a anvil there. A forge. That's what I want. I've got a bow. Did I find that, or do you start with that, or, um, yeah, like, is, is it, was that dumb of me not to know that? Because that could be useful in a lot of ways. There's another bog worm. There's, I hear something. And the fact that that's open is kind of concerning. I guess it must have been just these things. Okay, not too bad. Ration, okay. Yeah, even though this is like further down than we're really supposed to be at this level of like preparedness, uh, it's it doesn't seem too difficult other than the skeletons, which I just never have a good way of dealing with. I, I can't even imagine a good way of dealing with them other than just some sort of spell or something. There's something over there flapping. Oh, okay, this is nice. Let's get the spear, let's get the earth, let's forge it, and we got stunning. I assume that means it stuns things, and not that it's just a uh, particularly good weapon in a stunning fashion. That, is that a rat man? What's that? Rat man. Well, he's stunned. True to its name. Okay, well. We got a better shield and a mace, which we're not going to use, unless... It does do less damage than um, stunning but it's not slow and also this is stunning so we kind of want to save that so I think a maze actually makes sense now let's see how it kind of a weird attack though Warhammer now that's something requires a strength of 16 which we don't have so I guess that um, solves that I guess we're not using a Warhammer too bad. Uh, there must be a way to up your strength or something. Or some class you can unlock that starts with just a, a lot more of it. I don't know. Oh, that's a temporary thing. Okay. No, oh, we almost got locked in there, I think. Right? Yeah, we could have got locked in there and just lost. I don't think there would have been any way out of there. Okay, this is a little tough to use. Hmm... Yeah, it'll take some getting used to. I'm on fire. Yeah, what is Grievous like? Probably weapons. Hey! Giving away my dagger for potions. I like that. I don't need my short sword either. Don't want him? Do you want my Warhammer? Hmm. Maybe one per altar? Let's get that there. Let's eat one of these rations. Let's check out what's going on further along. I don't like these guys at all. Also, this mace is not the best. Not the best. Um, okay, I'm burning. I'm burning pretty bad. Uh, let's eat this. Um, we want to go... Yeah, we do actually want to go up and check out that, those other levels. 
Um, I bet we, I don't think we tried both these rings. I think we tried one of them, but we still don't know what either of them do. Normally, in most games, it you put one on and then you, you pretty quick you know which you know what it does. But not the case here. Uh, I guess I'm going through this this one. That's just kind of where I was heading. I did well, we didn't even explore all this. Let's finish it off. There's no reason not to. I, not that I can think of anyway. Yeah, there's still a good deal to check out. Uh, some of it's water, though. Okay, okay, okay. This is a reason not to check it out. Jeez, jeez. Are we getting worse at this game? I think we're devolving. Um, I can now buy scale mail armor. That was still our second best run? Are you serious? Because I had 74 gold? It doesn't rank... No. Oh. It doesn't rank them in depth. It ranks them by gold. Which, But then why... <laughs> why is this guy lower than the guy who only went to depth 1? He went to depth 2. He also didn't die in the tutorial. This guy should... Drondo should not be at the bottom. That is just... It's just unreasonable. But also, Hanrik should not be second. The Guardian. The Guardian of what? Exactly. What else? This is actually important. Wait, we've done that. So why doesn't it show up right there? Oh, I guess it is a little... Oh, so this is something we did, but we didn't unlock it this time. This is something we did, and for the first time. And these sort of just barely lightly colored ones are the ones that we've done before, but not this time. Identify a sword by defeating 20 enemies with it. That's how you identify stuff? It's a good thing I looked at this. Use a scroll to identify a magic... Okay, sure. Use a scroll to... Okay. Disarm a trap? We should do that. We should do that just so that we unlock that. Kill 100 rats. Slay a, gi a giant poisonous rat. Okay. Cobalt Mage. Recharge a staff. Okay. Collect 48 arrows. Put a skeleton permanently to rest. We could have done that. Brew some tea. I don't know how to do, even though we get tea leaves. Orc necklace. Gargoyle. Enchanting. Okay. Craft. Kill. 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 Discover all levels. Uh, yeah, I don't see that happening. Reach level 7 in a hard game without after starting without anything. It's possible. We haven't even gotten level 7 normally, though. So, uh, that, why did it go back to the weekly dungeon? That wasn't a weekly dungeon. Anyway, that was today's episode of Unexplored. It was, uh, pretty bad. <laughs> Not doing good, but that, it happens. You have to fail sometimes so you can get better. We're gonna go into the next one, uh, much better off, much better prepared, with more experience, and we're gonna do this. Maybe we'll try the daily dungeon, um, at some point. I don't know. We'll see. Either way... I will see you guys next time.